Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is India and I have been triggered. Um, let's be honest, I am 100% prepared to be blocked for this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dose. Dose. Yeah. Started from the mud. Now you all right, y'all, um, listen, I am a little annoyed and I've calmed down since then, but I wanted to get on here real quick and rant. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just jump right into it, right? So I'm just scrolling on social media as I typically do. Um, and Facebook suggested this video. Um, it's a video that's been going around of a young woman. Uh, she just so happened to be plus size, but she was talking about you know what she wants you know in a man financially and you know what she won't settle on right so what i'll do is i'll just insert like the video here i'm not going to do any audio for the video if i find the original video i will leave it linked in my description box you know i always look out but pretty much a woman um said something along the lines as like she wants a man who's ambitious he has to make a certain amount of money yada 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 i don't know verbatim what she said but the problem started when i started reading the comments under this woman's video so of course a lot of people aren't going to agree with what the woman uh, was saying you know she expects a man to make a certain amount of money if she's going to be making a certain amount of money this has been a topic that has been sparking the media especially in the black community for some time now but for whatever reason right now it is just hot right a woman's expectations of a man he has to make you know six figures and do this he'd be six feet tall and whatever right this has just been going on for a while it is not a popular topic because the men don't like it um and of course i get it if you're a man and you're not a certain at a certain status i can see how you won't agree with what a lot of women are saying so a lot of people did not agree with this woman both men and women um but when I read the comments, there was a lot of fat shaming and I really didn't like it. And people pretty much saying that this woman has some audacity uh, for having her preference or, you know, having her standards because she looks a certain way. Um, there was a lot of comments like, oh, she needs to lose a weight because men who make six figures will never be interested in her or she doesn't have the right to want this sort of man to want a man with this status because she's big right and so i went on there and i was looking at all these negative comments now see my mom raised me that if you don't have anything nice to say just don't say anything at all right and so i thought it would be a good idea to leave a positive comment to this woman all i saw was negative things and it's okay to disagree with someone you don't have to say it all the time if you don't like a video just keep scrolling right you don't have to degrade this woman who you don't know she is a real person right she wasn't saying anything out of the way she's not a serial killer or anything of that nature so i ended up just leaving a positive note and then you can look at my comment um that i wrote under the video i said she is absolutely gorgeous i said hey good luck on your journey or all your endeavors queen and i was just leaving something nice on this woman page i find the woman attractive i think she's a very pretty woman and so the person i am if i see a person even if it's a stranger someone i don't know and i like something about them i am going to let that person know here's the problem right i got a lot of feedback on that note that i left a lot of men were saying i was part of the problem a lot of men were saying that I shouldn't have said what I said in complimenting this woman because I'm not the one who has to date her. So I'm not allowed to compliment her. And it was just a lot of that. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot of... And I was like, you know what? This is dumb. Like, half the people 
leaving notes on this woman's page or on the video. A lot of people commenting on what I said. It's just right now you're giving dumb vibes. It's just dumb. It's stupid. Like what does me dating a woman or not being eligible to date a woman has to do with me just saying something nice? I, I never agreed to what she said. I didn't say all men have to make a hundred thousand dollars. I didn't say men have to be billionaires and you know, famous and look like gods and supermodels. I just simply said, I find the woman pretty and I hope she finds whatever she wants to find and good luck on that. And a lot of people had a problem with that. A lot of people had a problem with me saying something nice about this woman. We can get into the fat shaming, you know, conversation all day, all night or whatever. But the thing is, I've been seeing this going around a lot. A lot of plus size women, you know, have their preference. And a lot of people are saying they don't have the right to have that preference. They need to settle for whatever they can get because they're plus size. And you know, and I don't want to get into the whole debate of what's healthy, what's not healthy, right? I don't want to hear any of that. <sighs> Y'all, let's, Okay, let's 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 really talk about it because a lot of this is cap. A lot of men saying they won't fit women. A lot of this is cap. Let's get into it. Men fronting as if they are not attracted to plus size women is is fake. You know what I'm saying? It's it's fake. A lot of men are attracted to plus size women. A lot. Okay. When you walk around, you can see who who's married, right? Who's in relationship. You know, a lot of people make the joke about um, the show, My 600 Pound Life, right? They'll say, you've never seen a single person on that show. You know, the women on that show who are, who are bedridden or, you know, disabled from being morbidly obese, they're married and they got someone taking care of them. So obviously being big is not a problem, but that's that's beyond the point, right? I did a video not too long ago about my experiences, my personal experiences with um dealing with men being both plus size and losing weight right the reason i made this video is because a lot of people would ask me hey do you get more attention from men now that you are thinner or did men ignore you when you were plus size did men ignore you when you were obese and all that right so i'm, I'm going to speak from experience a little bit and a lot of people they're not going to share the same experience. A lot of people have their own stories. But when I made that video, um, I don't think a lot of people got the response they wanted. Long story short, I had zero issues getting any man when I was big. I did not have an issue with men when I was plus size, right? Men were in my inbox. Men were gawking over me, baby. I, it was that, that was that okay i didn't have an issue <laughs> people didn't want to hear that but it's the truth and then i had someone ask me did the quality of men change right so now that you're smaller did you get a different quality of men to approach you right you know of course big women get hollered at and the men to do anything for sex right you know no matter what did the quality of men change the answer is no the same men, honey, it's the same, same men, the same type of men, the same men, literally. They wanted me when I was big. They want me now that I'm small. So this whole thing about plus size women not being desirable is a lie. Let's stop the whole fat shaming thing. Society tells us that we're not allowed to be attracted to plus size women. So we're going to go on some video and say this woman is not worthy of this and that and the other. And it's just dumb. I'm like, I'm tired of it. And I should really screenshot some of these comments I was getting just from me giving this woman a compliment. Now, again, I never agreed to what she said. I just simply complimented her. And I might do a part two to this video because I said I wasn't going to yell or like get all into a rage or whatnot. And I feel like it's going there. It's getting to the point where I'm just going to yell. And so I'll leave you with this. Um... If you are someone and you disagree with me or you disagree with what the young woman said, I know some people may have seen the video. Some people probably have no idea what I am talking about. But um, if you don't have anything positive to say about one, big women, 
black women or just women in general if you do not have anything positive to say exit this video do not leave me a comment because i know i'm gonna get a lot of trolls don't leave me a comment if it's negative if it's leaving some kind of weird energy if you want to disagree with me and tell me how unhealthy it is to be big do not leave a comment because you're going to waste your time writing this full paragraph trying to debate me and do all this and all that and all i am going to do is delete your comment if you don't have anything nice to say do not leave it under my page at all block me right now to the people who support me uh thank you so much for watching this video um you know what i love my supporters more than anything um so thank you for watching this video to the people who don't know me thank you for sticking around um i will say this if you are a woman if you are african-american if you are plus size if you are thin if you are thick skinny short tall whatever you are I want you to know that you are beautiful, period. Do not settle for anything or anyone. You are beautiful and you are worth it. You guys, good luck on your journeys. I will see you in the next one. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough.